hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel that feels so weird saying that um anyway why are we in my wardrobe it's because i haven't set up an office or anything um so yeah we're stuck with this you are currently on my box of breast pads and um then there's some breast pads lifting the camera up so we get this angle and my sea tits tits my sea tits aren't in the frame um if you're wondering what's in my head it is a make do scrunchie which is my undies um they're clean by the way so all is good in this hood um uh anyway first and foremost hello everyone my name is Italia um and I am 23 years old I am a mum to two gorgeous gorgeous boys if I do say so myself and we live in Taranaki um New Zealand so I feel like that's formalities um i will do another like introducing us vid with my babies on my hips and then that can be like baby based but for now i put up a, look, a little tiktok today just a quick one um asking for some questions um this is just going to be like a get to know me one but not get to know me know me like it's not going to be deep or anything i'm just going to answer questions because i have been like promising everyone a video um i've been making everyone subscribe to my channel and then i was like fuck i probably need to fucking post something now because i've been promising everyone and um i have not been fulfilling those promises but here we are and um be with me because this is just going to be one long ass vid i'm not going to be editing it i'm going to be putting this on my laptop and just posting it to youtube so um yeah you're going to be we're going to do this youtube thing together and it's going to start off shit but i'm sure i'll be able to like edit it and then like do like ones like the normal people do it um but for now this is what you're stuck with and it's not really stuck with because you guys are the ones that ask for it so and i'm a people pleaser so here i am pleasing the people anyway let's get into it yeah <laughs> get into it yeah okay anyway were you bullied growing up yes i was bullied growing up i was bullied in primary school i was bullied in high school um but i never let it really affect me i just kind of decided like it's not my problem that they um think of me that way and if I had any advice around bullying, um, it gets better. Um, where are they now? <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, but yeah, so I was bullied quite a bit. If you can't see, which you probably can because I'm looking at myself right now on this camera. And um, I've got a bung eye. So I split my eyelid open when, um, when I was playing rugby when I was younger. And it went super swollen. And then my um, eyelid just stretched out and when the swelling went down, my eyelid just kind of just didn't snap back. Um, so I was bullied quite a bit for that. But like when you're bullied about shit that you can't change, that is not a you problem. It's a then problem when you are bullied about shit that you've done in the past, mm, can't change anything. So both of you just get over it. Honestly, I just don't take anything to heart these days and... I didn't really take a tart those days either, but I'm not going to say I didn't let it affect me. I just knew that I was better than that. So, yeah. So, yeah, I was bullied. And um, it worked out. Let's just call it character building. Um, what was your favourite childhood snack? Rice, butter and sugar. Um, we would always have leftover rice after dinner. And um, we just always had rice, butter and sugar. Nice and warm. And just stir it all up. And it was like rice pudding. And it was so yum. And I just loved it every single time. Still do to this day. Um, what do you do for a living? I don't know. That's a weird question. Because like obviously I just live. <laughs> and I'm mum. And I feel like that's my job. Like for the rest of my life now. Um, but I have also got some side hustles going on i've started um my own business and i've got a few little sister brands out i obviously am on social media and i'm very very lucky to be um a macro influencer or whatever um but really like all in all i just be myself and i just live and then i like to share that and then from sharing that i obviously grew a following um and then i decided on like well with this following 
how like how can I make money off it so I've got a patreon I've obviously got my tiktok and instagram and I've got my businesses which are budget binders and I've just bought out a clothes label um and then I yeah just mum life and look after my children because I birthed my children and I love my children and yeah that's what I do for a living what's something that annoys you um honestly there's probably like so much but right now I can't really think of anything other than what's annoying my younger siblings <laughs> where do you see yourself in the future and what's your long term goal um uh, in the future I see myself as happy and financially stable and a good mom and have like solid businesses um and my long-term goal is pretty much just to be happy i feel like if you are truly happy then you don't really need anything else and that's just what i just always aim for because i feel like that is just the ultimate goal in life to be happy did you think traveling around with your son would land you here, starting your own businesses and now YouTube? Um, I don't know. I feel like I did that. Like it wasn't the traveling. Um, it was me. I don't know. That probably sounds real stuck up, but um, obviously it definitely got me the following. But like maintaining the followers and making sure they stick around and like being able to create this online community where they want more things like a YouTube channel. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like that was me. I feel like I didn't really get handed anything because I worked for it. But then at the same time, I didn't work for it because I'm just living my life and sharing it. And it's just, um, oh, fly. <laughs> and it's just worked out to be like this but to be honest I've always wanted to be like an influencer and I never knew how I'd get here and then here I am so I don't know if that answers the question but I feel like it goes off the question a little bit um but that is going to be the answer because I don't know I don't know what to can I talk no I can't I don't know what else to say um, who are your three fantasy followers? If you could choose three people that would follow you. Um, is it Brittany Broski? Brittany Broski, I don't know, she's this funny ass chick on TikTok. Um, that would be great if she followed me. Um, I don't know, I fucking love Adele. And I think she's fucking funny and she's fucking cool. So I think that'd be cool if she followed me too. And the last fantasy follower would be... Who do I just love and would love if they followed me? Like, who would I flip out on if I seen that they followed me? Probably... I don't know, man. I probably should have thought about answers to these questions. But then I probably would have, like, not actually told the truth. And, like, it would have been, like, not an authentic answer. Um, last fantasy follower would be... Who do I follow and who do I love? And if they follow me back, who would I freak out on? Oh, I can't even think. I'm sorry, I can't think. I'm just going to say that I can't think because I have a mum brain. <laughs> Will you get your babies vexed when they are of age? Um, I feel like I better not answer that question because I don't know. I don't. I feel like it's a real controversial um subject. And it is probably gonna get hate either way I go and yeah so no comment however we'll say that my babies are immunized are you planning to put the babies in oh I'm spinning are you planning on are you planning to put the babies in childcare before school yes eventually so Foxy is two he'll be three at the end of the year um I'm thinking of putting him into Kohanga so hopefully do that like sometime soon um however i wouldn't mind having him until he was three and then putting him into daycare or childcare um kohanga when he's three and probably the same for lion lee um 
but yeah they'll definitely be going somewhere before they go to school do you think you'll have more kids he he I do want more kids well I think I want more kids but right now I'm so happy with my family I don't think I'll have kids anytime soon like I'm pretty um I'm pretty adamant on waiting like another five years um and also because I'm quite young so I've definitely got like a lot of life left to have more kids um and I feel like if I had another kid sometime soon I don't know apparently yeah I don't know I'll put, obviously keep it and love it but I don't know um the plan would be my ideal plan would be to wait um another five or so years and then like reevaluate whether I want to have more kids um but at the same time I mean, if I have more kids, I have more kids, right? How's the newborn been settling? Um, he's amazing. He's a good boy. He has been cluster feeding lately, and he's just been, like, on my... I was going to say on my fucking tip, but... I need to stop swearing. <coughs> Parties. Um, he's just been on my boob so much, and when he's not on my boob, he's in my arms, and when he's not in my arms, he's sleeping. But he has been quite clingy, but I mean, like, what can you do? And I kind of like it because it's nice having those cuddles. Um, and not them talking back like my other son does. How are you feeling? I am feeling good. Um, I feel like I'm always tired. I, oh shit. Sometimes I feel like I've been enough more than I can chew with my businesses. With starting a fucking YouTube, like Patreon. And then I just like, when I start feeling overwhelmed and stuff. I'll just take like a sick day and do nothing for two days and then I feel refreshed and then I'm like oh actually it's not too bad I can do it um but yeah definitely a big change um going from one to two uh but it's actually all worked out quite well I've not had any postnatal depression lately um yet and I feel like I feel like everything's going really well for me and even though there have been a few like big things happen um, that didn't go well, I just feel like it's all part of the plan and everything that's meant to happen will happen. Um, everything happens for a reason, so obviously that was, you know, just part of life, I guess, highs and lows. But no, I'm feeling good and I'm feeling happy and I just, I don't know, I just like, I'm just liking how things are going and, um, how life is at the moment so yeah feeling good what pushed you to invest your time into becoming your own boss well i don't want to work to be honest <laughs> there it is the cat's out of the bag i don't want to fucking work for anyone else i would rather um work for myself make my own money and not work for someone else and hate my life and i'd rather work for myself and be around my kids and be able to like be like self-made than tire myself out every single day and be tired every time I come home and just want to sleep in the weekends and not be active and stuff I'd just so much rather being my own boss and um I'd rather that hard being my own boss making my own money than the hard that would come if I was working for someone else and being away from my kids and earning money for me but also earning money for them um so I guess that was definitely a big um part of the equation and then um and then I just kind of thought like why not like what have I got to lose nothing really I've got everything to gain and if I even if it was a big loss um the teachings that would come from that probably end up being a win so yeah so that's it <laughs> how was Fox oh how has Foxy been with his brother he loves him he loves him so much but he loves him so much to the point where it's scary like he wants to like carry him he wants to put him in bed he wants to give him cuddles and kisses but like forceful cuddles and kisses like hard uh, uh, uh. and he just doesn't like even though I tell him like literally a million times a day I'm saying like be gentle be careful careful hands gentle hands um nice kisses no it goes in one ear and then fucking out the other uh, look. in one ear and fucking out the other and um and he just, yeah, literally almost kills the baby like three times a day. But um, it's with love. Like, he just loves them so much. And I can't wait until they're older and they're running around and they're best friends and they're fighting all the time. And um, when Lionel's a little bit bigger, like, he'll be more, 
resilient to the hard kisses and the rough hands but Foxy's just so good with his brother and I just love watching him like secretly watching him with him because all he wants to do is just cuddle and kiss and every time he wakes up he'd like wake up and he'd be like good morning or whatever and then he'd be looking around he'd be like where's brother so that's fucking cute and I just yeah oh cute and it made me cry um but he's so good they're the best both of them are the fucking best ever um what's your favorite snacks I can't choose I literally love everything oh no that's a lie I'm a fussy eater, but I love all the mainstream things. Like, I love nuggets, I love seaweed snacks, I love scorched almonds, I love chips. Just the usuals. Um, I don't have favourites, I can't pick favourites. Do you want a girl one day? Um, I don't mind. I don't mind. I thought Lion Lee was going to be a girl, and then he wasn't. So I was like, oh, two boys. And two boys isn't bad. But if I did have more kids, I wouldn't be um, upset to have more boys. And I feel like girls, I don't know, it would be nice to have one girl, but at the same time, super happy to have boys. Um, so, I suppose I do want a girl one day, but I've got a niece and she's adorable, so that could be my girl for now. What were the differences in both of your pregnancies, if any? Um, with Lana, I got SPD quite quickly so that's like when your pelvis is just fucking sore and you can't fucking do anything um so it was quite immobile but they they were pretty similar physically with um Foxy I had like prenatal depression is that a thing and I was like fucking eh, 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 not the goods up there but um with Rana he was his pregnancy was pretty good obviously I'm just going to say it, I hated my pregnancies, I didn't enjoy them um, from maybe like 16 weeks onwards, um, they were real hard, just physically draining, um, especially being pregnant while having um, Foxy, like running around so full on, I couldn't keep up, I felt like a shit mum because I was like, um, I can't even keep up with my own baby, and then like I was having him and I was just so big compared to what I was with Foxy, and yeah it was just like a it was just a bit overwhelming but um generally the pregnancies were quite the same both shit nah <laughs> no, just kidding what is your main goal for this year um probably to establish like a good foundation for the rest of my life like i would like to um have like a decent amount of savings i'd like to have um plans to achieve goals like future goals just feel like I've got everything not really not necessarily under control because I don't mind everything being like all over the place at times but I'd like to like know that it's all going to be all good eventually because I've got this in place and if that doesn't work out then I've got this in place um and then obviously just be happy which I'm pretty easy it doesn't take much to keep me happy so yeah but yeah those are the goals what was your childhood like um see the thing is that I can't really remember my childhood I just kind of like I've got so much memory loss um from my childhood and I don't know if I'm trying to block shit out <laughs> there's probably some something bigger happening there that I probably got to get checked out by the shrinks but um well I remember it was actually pretty good and I had a good childhood. I was always loved and like always had everything I needed. But yeah, honestly, a fucking blank. Literally, like it's like you reading you're reading your book, right? And you put it away and then like the next night comes and then you're ready to read a book again and you go to get it and like the fucking pages are blank and you're like, What the fuck? And that's literally what it's like. Um what were you like in high school? What did you want to be then? Well, in high school, I was um, a teacher's pet, <laughs> I guess. I um, I loved high school. I loved school. I loved school so much. I was good at school. I was good academically and um, in sports. I always had good grades. Um, yeah, I was a bit of a teacher's pet. But also, I was, like, real loud. Who's here? 
is actually um yeah i was like real loud i was really like outgoing and bubbly um and then in my last year of high school i just fucking went out the gate and Mm, we don't really talk about that. Um, but I was actually the deputy head girl of my high school. And then I left the high school to go play rugby at another school. <laughs> so yeah. But I was, um, I thought I was pretty cool in high school, but other people were probably like, eh, you think that's cool? Um, but also my mum was a teacher at my school and she was a deputy, oh, deputy girl. She was a deputy principal at my schools um, as I was growing up. So I felt like I didn't really have a choice on like being a bad kid. Um, but like in saying that, I was, I was like friends with everyone, well I tried to be friends with everyone, I was a bit of a people pleaser, to be honest, if I'm being honest. Um, and, but at the same time I didn't really care about like if I was accepted or not. I guess I was pretty much the same as I am now, but back then, probably a little bit more like toned down. Um, but yeah. What did I want to be then? I actually wanted to be a doctor. I really wanted to be um, either a doctor, physio, or a vet. But when I was younger, I wanted to be a rubbish truck driver, so fuck knows. <laughs> What's any advice you would give to young ones dealing with hate? Um, normally the people that are hating on you are the ones with the problem, like whether they have something going on in their life, or um, they just want to feel like the bigger person. It's normally... When someone's hating on you, it doesn't come, like, it's not a you problem. And sometimes you just can't help how other people feel about you. Normally it's, it normally comes from a place of jealousy or just um, a place of their own hurt. So honestly, don't focus on the hate. Focus on the people that love you. Focus on loving yourself. And then honestly, it doesn't, like, you'll just eventually grow thick skin and, like, someone will be like, yeah, you're a fucking ugly fat bitch. And then you're just like... Like, thanks for sharing your opinion. Bye. But honestly, just don't take it to heart. And... Yeah, just don't take it to heart. And know that it's not your problem, okay? Um, and you're going to have haters. No matter what you do. So you might as well do what you want. Honestly. If that is, that is like one of like the... Do what you want because... You're always just going to have someone that's got a problem. Honestly, I fucking deal with it every single day of my life. You just can't do anything right. You can't please everyone. Someone's always going to have a fucking problem. So literally do whatever you want. And then, um, yeah, just make yourself happy. Don't let other people make you unhappy. Okay? Okay? Oh, fucking... Anyway. How are you liking your new fuddy? <sighs> let me sit back for this one. Oh, my boobs. I love it. And I always thought I was going to be like, because I'm, I'm real lazy, and you guys probably all know that by now. I'm like a real, um, just like a meh kind of person. So when I like moved into this place, I was like, like I hope I can like get my shit together and make sure I look after and stuff. Because my last rental, oh, if you're watching this, my old landlord, I'm sorry. I am so sorry I put you through that. And I'm so sorry for the state that your house was in. And... Yeah, I'm just taking responsibility for that because that was all on me. And I was just a dumb 18-year-old, so very sorry about that. But love this house. I love how, um, like, how it feels, like, being in your own house with your kids. Um, I fucking hate cleaning. I still hate cleaning, but you know what? I still clean it every day. And uh, even if the cleanliness doesn't last for long, I still feel accomplished. So, yeah. But... No, I'm just really loving it. I'm loving the sense of independence. Does that make sense? I'm loving being independent. I'm loving having, like, proper adult responsibilities. I'm loving, like, people wanting to come over and I say no. <laughs> like, nah. But also I've got a newborn, so you'll say, oh, no, the baby's a bit cranky. Um, I love that. That cut out. And I was still talking. Um, but anyway... That will just be the first vlog. And I guess I'm going to have to try edit this bit into the last bit. But I'm sure I can do that. Anyway. Um, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram. Okay, bye. <laughs>